Hello and welcome back. Now our node group configuration has been created and you can see here it is active and one node is created and that is also ready. So this has created our node group configuration with a single node. Now uh, let's access the uh, EKS cluster using the client machine. Yeah, the client machine can be any private machine uh, with AWS CLI and kubectl configured or it can be an AWS machine itself. I am using an AWS T2 micro machine and this machine is configured with AWS CLI as well as kubectl to access the uh, Kubernetes services, uh, EKS service. All right. So let's see the client machine. Uh, this is the client machine. So uh, basically, uh, when you, uh, if you are following my do uh, document or my video to create your EKS cluster and the node group, then you will definitely find an error while you connect to the uh, Kubernetes service. So uh, let's see the error now. It says that uh, it is unable to connect to the server 172, 31, 23, 42, 443 port. This definitely points us to an issue in the service group. Sorry, security group. All right, so let's uh, investigate that. And this is exactly why we need to create uh, the cluster manually. And so that you will come to know about the issues you will face in real life. And accordingly, you can be much better in uh, architecting your uh, automation tool. Or designing your automation tool okay let's go to ec2 where the security group is present all right if you go to ec2 uh, under uh, networking and security you will see security group here this is the uh, cluster generated sec uh, uh, security group we did not create any security group uh, while we were creating the cluster so cluster itself creates a security group let's come down we select this security group come down in the uh, rules inbound rules you will see that there is only one rule and that uh, source is is the security group itself so we need to have an uh, inbound rule with the required uh, port enabled which is at least 443 but here for the purpose of this video i am going to show you uh, uh, all the available ports accessible uh, across all IPv4. All right, add a rule, then select all TCP, and here anywhere IPv4. So anywhere uh, from anywhere, this can all the ports are accessible. This is not a production uh, grade setup, so you have to be very careful if you are setting this up for a production environment. Don't do this. Only allocate the IPs which has to access this uh, kubectl or Q kubernetes service and the tcp ports okay only the tcp ports you require to allow but uh, right now i'm creating this okay let's save the rules all right now i have created a blog i will put the link in the description let's open that uh, blog and let's uh, follow the blog post all right so this is my blog, uh, which says how to create, how to install and configure AWS CLI, AWS CLI and kubectl. Okay, our AWS CLI and the configuration and kubectl and the configuration is already done. So I will just show you the versions. Uh, I will definitely put a new video uh, with uh, all the details of how we can create an EC2 instance and how to install the version and how we can manage uh, any case from that EC2 machine. Okay, for this uh, for this video, I'm just only showing you uh, the uh, the steps of how it can be done. All right, so let's go and check the version. Right. Now, if AWS CLI is installed properly, then it should show the version. I'm using CLI one. Uh, latest version is V2. Uh, for the time being, I am using V1. All right. Now let's see uh, whether the AWS configure option is this uh, working fine or not. So uh, it is already configured. So if you uh, type in AWS configure, then you will see all the access key and secret key already been added and the region name and the output format. 
okay if this is fine and if it is working fine then it should show an output for any of the services in aws so let's see the list uh, of clusters so if i give this input then it should show some output so this is uh, successfully giving me an in, uh, output so there is only one eks cluster so that's why it is showing me one uh, cluster name all right so that means this is working fine all right so now let's move to the next step install kubectl cli kubectl cli is already installed let's see the version okay the client version is v1.21 i am using eks v v1.20 uh, it is okay to have uh, uh, one version up or one version down for kubectl it is supported so i am using one version up okay now we need to update the kube config uh, of our cluster uh, in the client machine uh, so this will allow the client machine to access the kube uh, kubernetes services all right so let's run this command now this has updated the kube config file which is in the home directory dot kube config so if the config file is not available, then it creates it. Or if it is available, then it will update the kube config file. Right. Now let's see if this configuration is working properly. If this configuration is working properly and all our setup is right, like the service group which we have created, the inbound rules, etc., and my client machine is able to access the EKS cluster, then this command should show you some output. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So this gives me an output. That means it is working. So our setup is fine. Uh, all connectivity is fine, and we are able to. And our uh, tools are configured properly, and we are able to see the output properly. Uh, I will definitely put. Uh, will upload a new video uh, regarding the EC2 instance and the tools. How you how it has to be uh, installed and how it can be configured anyway i have given this in the details uh, in the blog you can follow that or else uh, anyway i will be uh, uh, putting up a new video all right now this is working fine so let's see if there are any ports created so, yeah so there is one nginx port is running let's uh, remove it ctl delete pod nginx all right let's create a pod kubectl run nginx minus minus image nginx this is just a basic nginx pod let's see if it is getting created all right so it's getting created that means all our uh, setup is right and the configurations are working fine and we were able to run the run our first port and this is running all right so uh, this is the part three of uh, the eks aws eks using management console uh, and uh, that's it guys uh, i'll be coming up with more videos please uh, share subscribe and like my video thank you